Hi there, welcome to my channel, 9 to 42. I'm Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is on uh, Strangers by Sigrid. Sigrid? I think that's how you say the name. Anyway, uh, nice little song. Uh, the chorus of the song goes. <laughs> Okay, it's quite a nice little song. A uh, little bit tricky to play, there's a few different chords in there, but we'll give it a go. So it starts off, uh, there's three parts. We've got the verse, a bridge, and a chorus. Now the verse starts with a D chord, which is your second finger, E2, first finger, G2, and your third finger on B3. So we've got a D chord. The next chord's a little bit tricky. We've got an F sharp minor chord, which is a bar chord. So we're barring our first finger which means you're holding down all the strings on the second fret. And we've got a third finger on A4 and a little finger just underneath it on D4. It's quite a tricky one. If you haven't done bar chords, you need to squeeze that down really nice and tightly. Playing all the strings, so that's F sharp minor. The next chord is a B minor chord, which is your first finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger on B3 third finger on D4 and little finger on G4. I'm just hitting the middle four strings on that chord. So that's B minor uh, and it's going to do another B minor and then it goes to an A chord which is just your first finger on D2, second finger on G2 and third finger on B2. So that's an A chord. So the verse of the song then we've got D, F sharp minor, B minor, the B minor, A. Okay, so you've got D for a bar, F sharp minor for a bar, B minor for a bar, and then two beats on B minor and two beats on A. And it just keeps repeating that, it actually repeats it twice. Okay, so that's the verse of the song done. Uh, the bridge of the song starts with the G chord, which is your third finger on E3, second finger on E3 nearest to your face, and your first finger on A2. So that's your G chord. The next chord's an A chord, which we've done, and then it goes to a B minor chord, and then it goes to a slightly different or strange chord if you haven't played it. It's an A slash C sharp, which is your first finger on A4, second finger on B5, third finger on G6, and your little finger on D7. Just playing the middle four strings. So that's A slash C sharp. Okay? It's basically an A chord but with a C sharp in the bass as the lowest note. Uh, so that's the first line of the bridge. So we've got G, A, B minor, A slash C sharp. Tricky one to say that. And then we've got a D chord, and then it goes to F sharp minor, and then B minor and then B minor to A, which is the same as the verse. So the bridge does the G, A, B minor, A slash C sharp, and then it plays the verse four chords, or four bars, uh, once. So let's try that, ready? Bridge, one, two, three, G. A, B minor, A slash C sharp, D, A sharp minor, B minor, B minor, A. So that's the bridge. And that takes us to the chorus part, which goes. Okay, it starts off with E minor, which is just A2 and D2, hitting all the strings. And then just plays a little passing note of an F sharp, which is just the E string on the second fret. And you just play that one string. So you've got E minor, the note F sharp. And then it goes to a G chord. So if we do that, E minor, then the note F sharp, G. So it goes one, two, three, four. So the passing note is on three end and the chord is on four end. Okay. If you use your second finger on the F sharp, 
and then move it across for the G chord. That's probably the easiest way of playing that. And then it goes to an A chord, and then B minor chord. Okay, and the rhythm of that goes. So it kind of pushes all those chords. So you've got E minor, F sharp, G, A, B minor. Then does that C slash, oh sorry, A slash C sharp. Then D chord. And then it's going to play uh, a D slash F sharp, which is the same shape as A slash C sharp. But you move it up so your first finger is on fret 9 on the A string. Second finger on the B string on fret 10. Third finger on the G string on fret 11. And your little finger on D12. So that's a D slash F sharp. And that's the last chord. So if we put those chorus chords together, we've got E minor, F sharp passing note to a G chord. Then A to B minor, A slash C sharp to D. And then we're going to play that. Um, D slash F sharp on the end. Well, it's hard to say it, but it sounds like this. Okay, slowed it down, it goes. Another way of playing that D chord, I tend to like to go to a barred chord with my first finger on A, um, A5 and third finger of flat across D7, G7 and B7. So when I do that progression I go E minor, F sharp to G, A, B minor, then A slash C sharp to a D there. And then it makes a bit more sense working up, but you can go back to the normal D chord if you want, whichever one you prefer. Uh, so it's chorus of the song, one, two, three, and... And that's it! Well, hopefully that's made sense and it's, it's uh, relatively easy-ish to play. It's quite tricky, some of those chords, are, I have to admit. Well, if you've liked this, if you could subscribe to my channel, probably down there, uh, 9 to 42. Uh, if you could like this video, if you've got any comments or you've got any requests for songs, put them in the comment section because I would love to know what you want a lesson on. It makes my job a lot easier if I just do whatever you want. Uh, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.